A warm welcome to you and thanks so much for joining us on the news. My name is Bukola Agbakisu. On the news, INEC releases presidential and national assembly elections results. Ogun Executive Council commiserates with the family of late consultant to Governor Prince Adeniyi Adesoya, who died in ghastly motor accident. Taliban co-founder meets top White House envoy over Afghan peace talks. As the 2019 general elections begin, let us all be magnanimous in victory and be gallant in victory. Now the news in full. The Independent National Electoral Commission has released some results of the just concluded 2019 presidential election. The All Progressive Congress candidate Muhammad Buhari has a total of 285,894 in Kogi, while Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party has a total of 218,207 votes. In Lagos State, APC has a total vote of 580,814 in 15 local government, while PDP has 448,016 votes. In Gombe, APC has a total of 402,961 votes, while PDP has 138,484. In the Federal Capital Territory, APC catered a total vote of 152,224, while PDP has 259,997. In the state of Oshun, APC has a total of 347,034 votes, while the PDP has 337,377. Meanwhile, in Kwara, APC has 308,984, while PDP has 138,184 votes. Ekite State has a total of 219,231 votes for the APC, while a total of 154,032 votes is for PDP. Nasarawa State has a total of 289,903 for the All Progressive Congress and 283,847 for the People's Democratic Party. Auguste Governor Senator Ibikunle Amosun of the All Progressive Congress APC has been returned to represent Ogun Central Senatorial District in the Senate. Senator Amosu won the election into the Senate after polling 88,110 votes, beating to the second position Gomez City Oseni of African Democratic Party AGC. Gomez polled 37,101, while Solomon Apioto Sonyaolu of the PDP came third with a vote of 3,276. Returning officer Professor Idris Ainde Akombe announced the results this morning. That Amosun Ibikune Oyelaja of APC having satisfied the requirements of the law and scored the highest number of votes is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Signed, Professor Ainde IA, the returning officer, dated February 2019. Thank you very much. Of the APC has won the election of Abekota South Federal Constituency into the House of Representatives with a vote of 17,003. The announcement of the result was done by returning officer Professor Bameke Tajudin. That Edun Olariwaju of the APC, having satisfied the requirements of the law and scored the highest number of votes is hereby declared the winner and returned elected. Signed by Meket Ajudin, this day, 25th of February, 2019. Thank you very much. 
The winner of the Ogo Central Senatorial Election, the All Progressive Congress candidate, Ogo State Governor Senator Ibikunle Amosun, has praised all those involved in the peaceful conduct of the exercise as he owes his victory to the overwhelming support of the people. Governor Amosun said this in his reaction to his victory at the poll. Yeah, well, it is to first uh, thank the God Almighty and to appreciate uh, the good people of uh, Ogun Central, and by extension, the, all the good people of Ogun State, for two reasons. One, it is the peaceful nature of election in Ogun State. You now proud to the election, in the run to this election. People, naysayers, they've said that there will be a Magedon, there will be this, there will be that in Ogun State. Indeed, Ogun State, was uh, classified as those that they call flashpoint states. You know, different English they were using. But to the glory of God, uh, the election came very peaceful, very orderly. Indeed, you even think uh, it was like a carnival because everybody in their polling unit were playing together. No, it was rank or free. And I think uh, we need to appreciate the efforts of all our security agencies, the Army, the Navy in some areas, uh, the police especially. And we have to commend uh, the CP for a wonderful job. Uh, Governor Amosun said, as against the prediction in some quarters that the election will be marred by violence, the people have the true meaning of Ogun standard. Thank you, and thank you, because I've been told everywhere where they go they tell them that ah i'm also i said that this election is for president Mombo, and also you must do a pco and that is the next election that we are going to do something else next election we are going to do that something else and everybody will see i will even join in doing that thing so uh, clearly that's what will happen our people have demonstrated that they are ready for this election and i'm sure in the next two weeks we will see what will happen so well done Ogun state well done Everybody, the good people of Ogun State, well done. Well done, Nainek, as well. Yes, there are room for improvement. It is too slow. I think they will fine tune this because it is slow. One person signing, writing on all the polling units uh, or ballot papers, uh, they should find something else to do. Because, I mean, look at the time it takes. And that is why the, the turnout is low. Look what happened to me. It took them some time. Uh, Cardida is not working somewhere, even where it works. Somebody somewhere must, one of the, I think the PO, must sign. While reviewing the general performance in the election, the governor said he is fully set to come out to campaign for the governorship candidate of the Allied People's Movement, Honorable Abdul Kabir Adekunle Akinladi, and the House of Assembly candidates in the coming elections. What can he do? It's our people that are even telling them. And I'm happy with the election. Yes, people have benefited from it. That is the way life is. People know who they were voting for in APC. They know clearly. In fact, the result shows. Just check Mr. President's result and check my result. And just the, take the number, the difference. We are stepping down all campaigns in the memory of our uh, colleague that lost his life. And we thank God for SSG's life as well. We are not going to do any campaign today. Indeed, we just uh, quickly stepped down the ESCO. Tomorrow, we are starting. And from tomorrow, I am campaigning full blast for my candidate, for our candidate in Ogun State, Honorable uh, Abdul Kadir, Kabir Adekunle Akilade. I'm campaigning for him from tomorrow, fully, on, and the, all our assembly members. We've seen the numbers, our people are ready. The governor promised to continue to work for the interests of the state and the people. The Auguste Governor, Senator Ibikunle Amosun, has thanked the people of Ogun Central Senatorial District for their common display of loyalty and commitment to a senatorial election of Saturday, 24 February 2019. In a statement by the Governor, Senator Ibikunle Amosun, is overwhelmed by the continued support and pledged to effectively and efficiently represent them in the ninth Senate. The Governor thanked all the good people of Ogun State for the support given to his administration in the Governor's of the state and also commended them for the overwhelming votes given to President Muhammad Buhari in the general
just concluded presidential election, Senator Ibikunle Amoso in the statement commended the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for the peaceful conduct of the elections and all security agencies for the excellent security arrangements put in place. A former member of the Federal House of Representatives in the 7th Legislature, Honorable Olumide Oshoba, has emerged winner of the Abekuta North Oteda and Obafemi Ode Federal Constituency. The returning officer of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Ismaila Salami, said Honorable Oshoba emerged winner after scoring the highest vote of 33,538. Kunle Ibi report is presented in this package. Collation of election results for Abel Kuta North, Odeda, and Obafemi Owode Federal Constituency started at exactly 8 p.m. at Unity High School, Agoika, Abel Kuta, as electoral officers were seen bringing in the results from various polling stations, units, and wards. <laughs> Declaring the winner of the results, the returning officer, Professor Ismaila Salami, describes the exercise as free, fair, and credible and declares Honorable Olumide Oshoba of the All Progressives Congress, APC, as winner. ADC, 10,834. ADP, 2,865. APC, 33,538. PDP, 14,313. That Honorable Lumide Babatundi Oshoba is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. The collation center was devoid of violence while security operatives were on standby to maintain law and order. The news continues after this time out. Adekunle Akinlade, Triple A, Gekebi Gumino Pile Ogun, Labia Sia, Allied People's Movement, APM, Egbe Onikbaki, APM, Movement of Victory. Glad to have you back. The news continues. Honorable Isiaka Ayokunle Ibrahim of the ruling All Progressors Congress APC has been re elected as a member of the House of Representatives that will be representing the people of Ifo Iwekuru Federal Constituency for another four years in the next political dispensation. The result announcement exercise, which lasted two days, saw so Honorable Isiaka Ayokunle Ibrahim emerging the winner of the National Assembly election with 22,855 votes. I hereby say that Honorable Ibrahim A. Isiaka of APC, having certified the requirements of the with the highest number of votes, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Thank you so much. Speaking with OGTV News, the re-elected member of the House of Representatives appreciates people of the area for the support, adding that his best is yet to come. Almighty Allah, God, for his mercies. And 
At the same time, I want to appreciate the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that's the person of President Muhammad Obari, uh, for his doggedness, his uh, fortrightness at providing this space of uh, freedom for everybody, first to, uh, to express their franchise without any fear or intimidation or harassment. Uh, the security agencies, and of course, I'm not going to take away from the governor of the state, in the person of uh, Senator Ibikunle Amosun, who is the chief security officer of the state. Him, I want to hold in a very high esteem the very good people of Ifo Iwikuru Federal Constituency, uh, having that faith and their renewed mandate to say that, yes, Isiaka Ibrahim, you, I may not have uh, performed to the high heavens, but I can always assure them that my best are yet to come. Jimo Olaifa of the African Democratic Congress ADC has emerged winner of the just concluded House of Representatives election representing Egbado North and Imekwa from Federal Constituency. The result was declared by the returning officer, Professor Olubumi Ashimolo. Comrade Olaifa won with 19,687 votes. Itugu Fabajo has the details. Having waited for more than 24 hours, expecting the results of the just concluded presidential and national assembly elections in Nigeria, electorate in Egbado North and in Mekwa from local government areas converged on the town hall in Ayeto, the collation center for the area. Having collated the results from each ward under the two local governments, the returning officer, Professor Olubuni Ashimolu, declared Jimo Olaifa of the African Democratic Congress, ADC, as winner of the election. Jimo Olaifa got 19,687 votes to defeat APM and APC candidates who polled 11,403 and 10,867 respectively. And I want to really express my appreciation, deep felt appreciation to my people. Because for the past two and a half days, they have been keeping video here, making sure that no stone is left on top. I am overwhelmed with God. The free and fair election. The free and fair election. Ido Fabaju, OGTV News. Still on election matters, Honorable Riyomi Ononuga of the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, has emerged as the first female member of the House of Representatives that will be representing the people of Remo Federal Constituency during the next political dispensation in Nigeria. Mrs. Ononuga pulled 30,605 votes to defeat her PDP counterparts who pulled 29,858 votes during the just concluded presidential and national assembly election. Binga Adekoya, who was at the Kenneth Town Hall venue of the Coalition Center, reports. After a peaceful conduct of the just concluded presidential and national assembly elections in all the 35 words of the three local governments that made up the realm of federal constituency, then comes the coalition of all the results at the auditorium of the ancient Ikene Town Hall in a Kenya local government area of Ogun State. The rigorous exercise that lasted for almost 24 hours saw Chief Mrs. Oriyomi Ononuga imagine the winner of the National Assembly election. APC 30,605 
APM 9,780. PDP 29,858 votes. PPC 287 votes. Having satisfied the requirements of the law, it is hereby declared winner and return. Reacting to the victory, the newly elected member of the House of Representatives representing Remo Federal constituency comprising Shagamu, Ikene, and Remo North local governments promised to contribute a quota to the development of Remo Land, Ogun State, and Nigeria as a whole. I will definitely um, make sure that I deliver on all the promises and Remo is going to be greater than it was when uh, before I became um, the member-elect. Each success was also recorded in Ikene, Ilishon, Ishara, Iperu, Shagamu, Oderemo, and Ogere at the presidential polls. Benga Adekoya, OGTV News. Osho Soya Kolapo Kuridi of the All Progressives Congress has been declared the winner of the House of Representatives Ijebu Ode Udubulu, Ijebu North East Federal Constituency. However, the Ogun East Senatorial District election has been declared inconclusive by the returning officer, Professor Chris Owuka. Moses Ojeumi has the details. Following the presidential and national assembly elections was the coalition of results in nine local government areas that make up Ogun East Sanctuary District to be computed and declared in Jebodi local government secretariats. Around 5 a.m. on Monday, Oshunsoya Kolapo Kuridi of the All Progressives Congress was declared winner and winner represents Ijebodi Udubulu Ijebu North East Federal Constituency. Uh, of the APC scored 25,608 votes. Taiwo Kabil of PDP scored 21,775 votes. That I also state that, therefore, or should say a collab of Kuridi of APC, having satisfied the requirement and have scored the highest number of votes, is therefore thereby declared the winner are returned elected. Thank you very much. Day after, returning officer Professor Chris Onwuka announced the results of Ogun East Sanctuary District. Session Wu Adeola Ayola of PDP scored 82,457 votes. Mustafa Ramoni Olalikon of APC scored the highest vote of 84,929. This juncture he detected an irregularity in the cancellation of votes at Ajibandele in the Jabu East local government area and then made a declaration. In Ajibandele, 13,001 voters were registered there. The result was cancelled. Given that 13,000 uh, votes, votes is a weighty number and if election is reconducted, it can sway the decision in any direction. This, like I mentioned, is dynamic and will go based on the principle of INEP. The, uh, the um, election will be declared as inconclusive, inclusive until this is declared. Reactions followed developments from party agents. As at the time of leaving in Jabu Day, the returning officer was still trying to reach Jabu East electoral officer for more details on the nullification of votes at Ajibandili in the Jabu East local government area. Moses or Jeremy Oji TV News. Outcome of election conducted at Jabu North, Jabu East, and Ogun Waterside Federal constituency has been declared inconclusive owing to violation of electoral act at Ajiba and Dili area of Ogun Waterside local government. I next coalition officer in the constituency, Dr. Steve Olawali said cancellation of vote cast on the area becomes imperative due to differences discovered in the list of voters and the recorded sheets. Peter Falomo completes the report. 
32,594 votes representing 50% of the total votes cast at Ijebu North, Ijebu East, and Ogunwaterside Federal Constituency took the People's Democratic Party to the leading position in the Saturday, 23rd February 2019 election after the coalition of results from the three local government areas. The coalition officer, Dr. Steve Olawale, gives an overview of the election. The total valid votes were 65,144, with a total of 2,268 rejected votes. 67,412 was the total votes that were done here. Number of registered voters. Yeah. Number of registered voters. Yeah. This is what we have now. This is the total votes that were passed, collated elsewhere, and brought here for the final collection. Okay. So when this is done, we will now go further. Dr. Olawale who refused to declare the candidate of the leading political party as the winner says all resolved voting anomalies at Ajibandile in Ogunwata side led to the cancellation of election in the area. Two leading candidates in an election is not in excess of the total number of voters registered in the polling unit where elections are not held or voided in line with section 26 and 53 of the Electoral Act. The returning officer shall decline to make a return until polls have taken place in the affected polling units and the results collated into relevant forms for declaration and returns. As long as the issue of Ajibandele has not been resolved due to registration leading to the cancellation, I, like the law says, will decline to make a return. The President Electoral Commission, Commissioner, will be informed accordingly as to what will happen to the Ajibandele case. The party agents react. There are still some issues to be resolved on it. So I won't, I won't make any much comment about it now. I cannot take a decision on myself. The party will have to take a decision, but whatever the party decides, then we will carry it out. Although Party agents maintained peace. The coalition officer, Dr. Steve Olawale, has since forwarded the results sheets to the INEC headquarters at Abeokuta for further directives. Peter Falomo, OGTV News. The All Progressive Congress APC has won the election into the Ogun West Senatorial seat with a total of 56,452. The former Chief of Staff to the Governor of Ogun State, Chief Tulu Odebi, defeated his Allied People's Movement APM counterpart who got 48,691 votes. The People's Democratic Party PDP came third with 43,454 votes. One, Shodipo Nathaniel. Political party A. One, 1,038. Jacob Olowoyo Rotimi, AD, 447. Ogunlola Babatunde Olabode, ADC, 51,412. Akinola Belo Wahid, ADP, 6,843. Odebi Tolulope Akiremi, APC, 56,452. Beleyi Olushe Gumbolanle, APM, 48,691. Odun Jo, Odun Le Yabi Odun, PDP, 43,454. That Odebi Yi, Akin Yemi, Akin Remi, of all Progressive Congress, APC, having satisfied the requirements of the law and scored the highest number of votes, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected.
Adele Oba Kolawole Lawal of the Allied People's Movement APA has been declared winner of the House of Representatives election for Egbado South, Ipokia Federal Constituency. He got 3,533 votes, while B. O. Tegbeye of the All Progressives Congress got 19,796 votes, and the People's Democratic Party got 17,029 votes. Tunde Olani once again has the details. After the election, then coalition, finally the result of the election into the Federal House of Representatives for Ibado and Epokia Federal Constituency. That the election was contested, that the candidate received the following votes. ADC 4209 ADP 1778 APC 19796 APM 23533 PDP 17029 that Honorable Kola of Allied People Movement APM having satisfied the requirement of the law and score the highest vote is hereby declare, declared the winner and is returned elected. The winner of the polls reacts to the victory. I say, and there's no victory, no vanquished. I want to thank Almighty Allah for at least for the victory. I want to thank especially the people of uh, uh, USA, the Book of Federal Constituency, at least for giving me this mandate. And I want to assure them that the mandate will be just, just, just fine. On the attack on his life by some unknown gunmen, Kola Lawal has this to say. But I thank God that at least I'm alive. And whatever it is that happened, I mean, uh, whoever is doing that should stop. This is the second attempt on my life, and I think uh, they should stop. They should stop. I mean, well, it's not a matter of my, it's not a matter of life and death. When we are in in, uh, in uh, this kind of uh, season, we should remember that we are still going to see ourselves after after elections. And what happens to us post election period? For instance, uh, an attempt last night was was made based on what? A criminal policy will not help us anywhere. And uh, I think uh, we should outgrow this kind of thing in our in our political. Tony Olanero, OGTV News. Reflecting on the just concluded presidential and national assembly elections held across the country, Nigerians have described the exercise as generally credible and peaceful, not minding pockets of violence in some places. This was the view of those who spoke with our reporter Yusuf Ganil on the Saturday, 23rd of February 2019 exercise. His report. Elections in Nigeria are forms of voting in candidates across party lines in various elective positions at federal, state and local government levels. The recently held presidential and national assembly elections across the country has been adjudged to be free and fair in spite of little inches here and there. Well, I would say it's uh, somehow peaceful and uh, no, uh, we were all expecting uh, problems but God has evaded it. No more problem, everything went well and there was peace uh, throughout yesterday till now. It was extremely peaceful. You know, our people went, went out uh, in the MS and um, they, they, they actually executed their civic, civic rights. And, um, you know, in Ogun State especially, it was free and fair. Good. Nigeria has been peaceful. There are some places that there are rancors and all these things, but we know that everything will be solved. Some Nigerians, however, say that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, must ensure adequate preparations ahead of the next elections in the country. The machines not working, the electoral machines malfunctioning, you know, they, they should just uh, take a cognizance of that. You know, you know even with the huge turn, turnout, you see, they were able to cope, you know, and I think that um, they will do well come... Um, uh, March 
um, night. Problems like that of card reader and all these things, we want them to make amendments. Where there is problem, they should amend. At least this is a showcase, it's a test for what will happen next week. So where we are lack now, they should try as much as possible to correct it. And I believe in God. I know God will do it. And we want them to, to be more efficient, to, you see, arrange for more people. Uh, and then they should maintain peace, especially our law enforcement agents. They should, you see, watch out. There shouldn't be any rancor, no problem, no loss of life at all. The electorate are expected to come out again for the gubernatorial and House of Assembly elections scheduled for the 9th of March, 2019. Yusuf Ganiyu, ODTV News. The weekly Ogun State Executive Council meeting has been stepped down to earn on the memory of the consultant to the governor, Prince Adiniyi Adesoya, who passed away in, a, in an accident on Friday. Prayers were also offered for the Secretary to the State Government, Barista Tawo Adiolua, and his driver, who were also involved in the accident. Matthew Shumi completes the report. The pensive mood pervading the atmosphere depicts the sense of loss felt by members of the Ogun State Executive Council over the demise of one of the members, Prince Adene Adesonya, in an accident over the weekend as they gathered for the weekly Executive Council meeting. After the opening national and state anthem, Ogun State Governor Senator Ibikune Yamosun announced the stepping down of the meeting in honor of the deceased and quick recovery for the Secretary to the Government, Barisataiwu Adeolua, and his driver, Mr. Kennedy Akinade. Governor Musu also announced the suspension of all political activities for the day. Prayers were then offered for the soul of late Prince Adesanya, the family left behind, and quick recovery for others involved in the accident, after which a minute silence was observed in honor of the deceased. Matthew Shomi, OGT News. Meanwhile, members of the Ogun State Executive Council have sympathized with the family of Prince Adini Adesanya, who died in a ghastly auto crash along Kopakwe Shion Road, leading the members of the State Executive Council to the deceased quarters, J.R.A. Ibarra Bekuta, the Governor Senator Ibikunle Amosun described Prince Adesanya's death as unfortunate and a rude shock to the entire government and people of the state. Represented by his deputy, Chief Mrs. Yetunde Ononuga, Governor Amosun described the deceased who until his death was the senior special assistant to the governor on political matters affairs as a loyal, committed and a true party man to the core, saying his jovial gesture will be greatly missed. very sad to us, especially the role that your husband has played in this administration, not only in this administration, during this, the, the first tenure 
of His Excellency. He was a very jolly man. He was very, very loyal to the government. He performed his duties diligently and very was very hard working. And in the political era, he was very known to have supported the administration of Senator Bukunia Musu. No amount of words can bring your husband back. All of us in the state are mourning him right now. We don't pray for such to occur again. We pray that the Almighty God will give you the fortitude to bear the irreparable loss. While urging the family to take solace in the fact that he lived a fulfilled life, the governor prayed God to grant him eternal rest. While speaking on behalf of the family, Master Adiniyi Adesoya thanked the government for the kind gesture. In an interview, the former Commissioner for Local Government and Chief Tensi Affairs, Chief Jide Ojoko, described Prince Adesoya as a loving and generous colleague whose loyalty and commitment to the present administration is second to none. Augustate Einek Collating Officer Professor Adeola Fuape has announced the pres presidential results in Ogun State with President Muhammad Buhari landslide on the rescheduled presidential election in the state, having polled a total of 281,762 votes. The coalition exercise, which lasted for over 26 hours, in what most observers have adjudged to be free and fair, as the ruling party APC lead with their closest rival PDP by 87,107 votes. The APC presidential candidate and incumbent president, Muhammad Buhari, was declared elected in Ogun State, having polled a total of 281,762 out of 564,252 valid votes collated across all the 20 local governments in the state. Officer Professor Adiola Fuakwe stated further that out of the 605,938 vote cast, 41,682,000 votes were cancelled. Now to other stories. Juvenile delinquencies have been attributed to lackluster attitudes on the part of most parents in molding the character of their children. An English teacher and a garden counselor at Nawarudin Grammar School, Ukeyeke Abeokuta, Mrs. Adenike Omotayo, who said her voice while speaking as a guest lecturer at the just concluded special day of solar group of schools, Solar Hilltop, opposite Crown Royal Hotel, Abiola Weashiro, 
Abdelkuta added that separation by parents is another factor that is militating against child care in the family. Speaking on that, the topic politics and the thug and thugry in Nigeria, the do's and don'ts of students, Mrs. Omotayo also listed such antisocial behaviors as cultism, armed robbery, and rape, especially during political era, which oftentimes lead to untimely death, charge them, especially mothers, to create time for the welfare and well-being of their young ones by ascertaining the company they keep. The manager of solar group of schools, Mr. Kirindi Akipelu, who noted this at the special day of the school, however, taught parents and guardians to inculcate the study of the subject on the young ones right from infancy. Meanwhile, Oluwu of Uwu Obadeboega Dusumo has admonished young boys and girls to keep away from those behaviors that could tarnish the image of the parents. The traditional ruler gave the advice while hosting students and pupils of solar group of schools who were on a one-day excursion to his palace. High points of the event were quiz and dance competitions among selected secondary schools in Abeokuta. Oral interview for the teaching and non-teaching staff in the Ogun State Teaching Service Commission for the officers on grade level 6 to 12 is scheduled to hold between Tuesday 26 to Thursday 28 February 2019. According to a release signed by the Chairman, Teaching Service Commission, Chief Mrs. Olaposipo Oguson, officers on grade level 10 to 12 will have the examination held on Tuesday 26 February 2019 and grade level 9 to 10 to have the oral interview conducted on Wednesday 27 February 2019. The statement asks that officers on grade level 6 to 9 are scheduled for oral interview on 28 February 2019. Affected candidates have to, re to report at Abekuta Grammar School, Ijiaba, Abekuta, for all candidates in Ugu Central Senatorial District. Candidates in Ugu West Senatorial District are expected to converge on the premises of Yewa College, Ilaro, while candidates from the Ugu East Senatorial District to gather at Adiola Dutola College, Ijebode, and Remo Secondary School, Shagamu. Candidates from Udogburu Local Government are to join their colleagues at Remo Secondary School, Shagamu, for the exercise. Meanwhile, interviews for officers on grade level 12 to 16 will take place at the Agzoba Hall Abekuta Grammar School on Monday, 4th March 2019, grade level 16 to 17, Tuesday, 5th March 2019, and for officers on grade level 15 to 16, Wednesday, 6th March 2019, for grade level 13 to 15 officers, while interviews for officers on grade level 12 to 13 will hold on 7th March 2019. All officers are expected to be at the designated centers by 8 in the morning alongside the original credentials, including letter of appointment, confirmation of appointment, letter of last promotion, educational qualifications, and other relevant documents. <laughs>